I have my little space buns. Really rocking them. I feel like a rock chick. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my Inglot must have my Inglot must haves slash top products. Um, as a lot of you guys were asking me would I film this because you aren't sure what to try from the brand and I am obsessed with the brand Ingla so I thought it would be a great idea to film this video for you guys and I also want to do videos that you guys want to see so I have a f quite a few products here so I'm gonna get right into it because I don't want this video to be like way too long because I can talk for days upon days so I'm gonna get right into it so the first product I would highly, highly recommend from Inglot is their Inglot HD Perfect Cover Up Foundation. Now, this foundation is exactly as it says, it is so HD. There is no SPF in this foundation, but it is absolutely perfect for flash photography as there is no SPF in it. Um, it is, it covers up every single pimple or mark or anything on your face. It is super, super high coverage, and I absolutely love this foundation, especially for um, a night out or if you have a big event, um, this foundation is the one you want to use. Um, it is quite expensive. It would probably be the same price as a MAC foundation, but it is definitely worth it for them occasions where you need a real high coverage face and for it to last you the whole day. I absolutely love this foundation and I am in the number 73. I wouldn't wear this on an everyday basis as it is way too high coverage for that. You don't want to be going around, you know, with a full cake of foundation on you every day. But you know, when you have a big event, you gotta do it. You just gotta. So I would definitely recommend that. The second product I'm going to talk about is their Ingla Under Eye Concealer. Now, this is one of my holy grail products from them. I'm in number 91. Um, this concealer is so amazing. It is super high coverage and it will cover up every all discoloration and anything under your eyes you want to and it brightens them up so very much they have so many different colors so for everybody of different skin colors and all that um but you know i'm very pale <laughs> as you know definitely one of my favorite concealers without a doubt i would re highly highly recommend this concealer if you're looking for a good concealer that will brighten up your under eye it is a specifically under eye concealer but um, I sometimes do use it like down the bridge of my nose and on the top of my forehead as well. But you know, you can do whatever you want. It's up to you. The next product which I'm going to talk to you all about is their um, face powder. Now this is their HD um, press powder. So it is, it's the same as their Inglot foundation as that's HD. So this on top of this, you are just ready to go. Like your makeup is gonna stay in place all day long. I don't know what shade this is because you have to buy the pan separate to the um, filling, but it is the lightest shade. So whatever the lightest shade is, that's always gonna be me guys. And um, yeah, you can see I've hit pan on this. I absolutely love this. This is my go-to powder without a doubt. I rarely use any other powder because I just love it. It really does the job and I rarely have to top up my powder throughout the day when I have this on. And it doesn't leave that cakey powdery look on your face the way a lot of powders do, um, which is not a look we're going for, guys. I would definitely recommend their pressed powders anyways. And they're quite, um, they're very affordable, like, and you know, they're gonna last you a long time. The next product I'm going to talk to you all about is their Ingla, um, illuminizing loose powder um, so this guys is absolutely astonishing <laughs> it's a big word Jessica for your vocabulary mm. um, this is just bloody amazing so it's what you do with this is after you have your concealer on and you have it set and all you just um, get a brush and pat some of this under your eyes and um, leave it there to sit for a few minutes. So what I like to do is I will leave this on while I'm doing my eyebrows or whatever. And then you just get the brush again and you just brush it all off and your eyes are gonna be so much more brighter and all and awake and just illuminizing when you have this on. It is so feckin' beautiful. I wouldn't wear this on an everyday basis, but I would like, if I'm going somewhere and 
you know, I just want that real illuminized look under my eyes. I will, this is just amazing. I've never used a product like it. And I would really, really recommend this guys because it is just fabulous. Now, um, use, well, already might have see, heard me talk about this um, in my very first video. And this is the Inglot Sparkling Dust. Oh! This stuff, guys, is just freaking beautiful. I have it on today. I don't know if you can see the glow. <laughs> you might be able to, but every time I wear this highlighter, I get people asking me, what highlighter are you wearing? Or your eyeliners, or no, your highlighters on fleek, girl. And it is always, 99% of the time, it is this bad boy. This is the most gorgeous highlighter I have ever ever used and the most pigmented that will come up on your face you know when you the way when you swatch a lot of highlighters they'll come up really pretty on your hand but then when you go to put it on the face it's like you lose a lot of the product but this is just fab i am obsessed like it is uh like a champagne gold color you can kind of see it on the um powder thing but um it is absolutely beautiful. I'll be showing you close-ups of all these, so don't worry. Um, no, I, I, if you do not get anything from Inglot, I would recommend either this highlighter or their pigments, without a doubt, which I'm going to talk about later on in the video. I freaking love it, and it is in number two, guys. Sorry if I didn't say that. My next um, Inglot must-have is this bad boy so as you can see i've hit pan and it is one of their contour powders in shade number 507 i absolutely love this contour powder so much it is such um a versatile powder because you can use such a little amount of product and have a real sly contour or you can build it up and have it as high contoured high contoured yeah that's it that's a phrase now guys i just made that high contoured yeah you can have a real defined contour as well if you want so it's completely up to you and this blends so beautifully this is definitely my favorite one and um the girl also um in the shop like they, that was the color she suggested for me favorite eyeshadows from ingla has to be from their love palette this is their love palette and as you can see, how beautiful is that palette to you? Like, this just makes my heart happy. And this just brings, like, I just look at this palette and I'm like, yeah, you got it. You got it, Ingla. Now, I heard that this is exclusive to the Ireland stores only, which I don't know how true that is. But um, I would definitely recommend these shades of colours if you don't know what colour eyeshadows to buy when you go in. So like you know you've got your um transitions like a real light brown you've got a nice white you've got a shimmery white and then like they've there's really fun colors burgundy red <laughs> um uh purple then there's like a really deep brown a gold a really nice orange and i absolutely love this color this orange color goes so well with blue eyes it really makes them pop and um i have it on today actually i don't know if you can see very well but <laughs> um no, I would really recommend these kind of colours if you don't know what shadows to go for. And um, there are so many different looks you can create with this palette. Like, you wouldn't think it, but it's absolutely insane. The amount of different eyeshadow looks I have created using this palette, you just wouldn't believe it, guys. So, um, I absolutely love that palette to bits. My next must-have Ingla products are, without a doubt, now, they're feckin' pigments, guys. Oh my god, like, their pigments, this, these and their highlighter, like, if you get nothing else, I would suggest them two products. They are absolutely gorgeous. Um, here I've got 118, 115, 120 and 82. Their pigments just put every other brand of pigments to shame. They are so highly pigmented and on the eyes, they are so beautiful and they don't, like, they're so easy to work with as well. I find a lot of pigments are very tricky to work with. This is um, 115. I absolutely love this shade so much. It is one of my favourites. It's a really pretty... 
it's a really pink, pretty like goldy and um, pinky color. Their pigments are definitely one of my favorite things without a doubt from them. They are the best things I've ever used in my life. And if you wanna bring a bit of glow and sparkle to your life, just go to Ingla and buy yourself some pigments because they are amazing. Next thing I'm going to talk to you all about is their AMC gel liner. Um, this is 77, it's just their black one. I used to know what a black gel liner looks like, they all look the same. And uh, 76 is their white one. Their gel liners are absolutely amazing. They are they are waterproof, they are um, transfer proof, they, they, once you have it, your eyeliner on and you have it where you want, they're not gonna budge, they're not gonna smudge, they're not gonna transfer, they're not gonna leak. None of them things have ever happened to me when I use this gel liner and it's the only liner I've ever found that doesn't do one of them things like it's very hard to find a liner that's like that um and I was never a fan of gel liners until I started using this one and it is my go-to I absolutely adore it and um, the next product I'm going to talk to you all about is their brow gel so this is their AMC brow gel and it is in number what am I doing <laughs> it is in number 19 and it is quite a small pot, but a little goes a long way with this. Um, this is my second pot of it, but I literally had the other one for like months and months and months. Um, it's only like 15 euro as well, which is such good value. And um, they have all different colours and all, but I absolutely love this gel liner. Like, brows are such a touchy, touchy subject for everyone, and especially for me, because I went through such a bad stage with my eyebrows. Like, it's so embarrassing looking at photos. I don't know what I was thinking. I actually thought that looked good, and they were... Like, people talk about eyebrows are not meant to be twins, they're meant to be sisters. Mine weren't even related, guys. Mine were just way far apart. Like, one of mine lived, like in Ireland and the other one lived like on the other side of Africa or something they were that far apart but it was just crazy but um since I've got this it may it's so easy to work with and I just love it so much the next product I'm going to talk about is their Duraline and this is very raved about as well so what you use this for is you could you pop it on your eyes and then you put the pigment on it or I like to put a little bit of this in with my eyeliner my eyebrow gel when they get a little dry and just mix that about and it just brings it back to like a brand new consistency and it's so easy to work with and smooth and also if you your mascara is dried up and you literally put one drop of this in the tube and then like do that thing like da -da 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 -da, with your mascara it is like brand new it's just mad there's so many things you can do with this and I think it is a must-have because there's very few products what you can do so many different things with and it is only 12 euro which is amazing the next product i'm going to talk to you about is their lipsticks now guys these are i absolutely love their lipsticks so much so here i've got 404 which i'm wearing today it's a really nice new i get questions a lot when i wear this um as to what am i wearing on my lips and I also love to pair it with the A54 lip liner and I don't have that here right now. I was meant to include it in the video, but it's just their um, play liner in A54. And I like to just line my lips with the lip liner and then put this on top and you've got such a beautiful nude lip. The reason why I wanted to include this in this video is because this is gonna look well on anybody. And the other color I have here is um, 425. And this is one of my other absolute favourites from Ingla. It is a beautiful rosy dolly girly pink. And um, it is so, so, so pretty. It is really matte. So you want to have your lips like mo moisturised and all that stuff. And um, like use a lip scrub maybe before you put these on. But once you have that done, like your lips, your lipstick's just gonna look amazing. I rarely have to top up my lipstick when I have these on. More so I would with the nude one, but like when I'm wearing the pink one, it really will stay in place all day because it's a really nice deep colour. Here are my two um recommended must-have Inglot lippies without a doubt. I couldn't live without them. The last thing I'm going to talk to you about is their um Inglot lip tint this is number 17 and this is my favorite lip tint from 
lip tint lip tint <laughs> from them it is a beautiful nude color and i absolutely love it so much this one here it is so pretty on the lip it reminds me of like people say it's like it's like a dupe for like dulce k from kylie cosmetics and um they are quite expensive so if you really like them colors and this could be the one for you guys <laughs> could be <laughs> um no but this hd lip tint is so beautiful on the lips it's that perfect new color and it once it's set it doesn't give you that cracked lip feeling my favorite lip tint i've tried guys and they have so many different colors and yeah just they have loads of beautiful colors but i just love this nude color because it is again perfect for all year round and i want to help you guys out as much as i can like you know including like a red lip tint or something wouldn't be for everyone but this nude tint is beautiful that is the end of the video guys and i'm really upset because that went super duper quick and i love talking to you guys so much but um thank you all so much for the constant amazing support and the comments and all that great stuff i love each and every one of you so very much and i can't thank you enough so please give this video a thumbs up and hit the and hit the subscribe button down below if you haven't already because it will just make my day. So I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye!